If you walked the beaches of the Pacific Northwest in 2017, you might have seen them. Yeah, they're everywhere. I don't know what they are, but they're creepy. Turns out those tube-like gelatinous creatures are called pyrosomes, and they can cause big problems when marine heat waves hit. So before the marine heat waves, nobody nobody has any documented evidence of seeing pyrosomes at all in our waters. And once the blob happened, you know, if these things exploded. That's Dylan Gomes, a biologist with the U.S. Geological Survey. He said that when the ocean heats up, pyrosome populations spike. And that's a problem because pyrosomes eat a lot, but they aren't often eaten. At the very bottom of the ocean food web are phytoplankton, microscopic organisms that get their energy from the sun. As they're eaten by bigger organisms, they pass that energy up the food chain. The physics of the ocean drive nutrient availability for phytoplankton and then phytoplankton provide energy for the lower um, end of the food web all the way up through to top predators and fisheries. So a phytoplankton might be eaten by krill, which could be eaten by a salmon, which might be eaten by a southern resident orca, or even by you or me. But when pyrosomes move in, they can consume up to 95% of available phytoplankton. And with not many creatures actively eating pyrosomes, that energy needed in the higher levels of the food chain essentially hits a dead end. Pyrosomes are potentially sort of shifting the entire food web in a different direction and not leaving a lot of energy for these other species that we care about. Now, Gomes said the exact causes of marine heat waves are hard to pin down, though climate change definitely plays a role. And his research shows that when changes happen in our ocean, they rarely stay there. Everything is connected, um, you know, at least indirectly. Kale Williams, KGW News.